The next block is the bottom row fourth block, which I call BR4, and it is another modified block. And so I have my booklet. Oops, flip it over the right way. And again, I have an arrow direction on my pieces to indicate the direction that my fabric should be going in each colored piece. And the colored pieces are all these middle triangles and then these two right here. Assembly is quite straightforward, but there is a danger here. I've got these two pieces are going to go together with these two pieces and then connect to this. I want to make sure that I lay out my section before I connect these two to this, that I've got the angle right. And then I'm going to assemble these in three-piece sections, 14, 15, 16, 11, 12, 13, 8, 9, 10, things like that. The trick, the danger is when you put these on, when these, because this is a piece section, it's really easy to get this going in like a tipping tower. If you get one side off, and it, just, it will eventually lean this way. So when you tape it or lay it out before you stitch, you want to make sure that it's on the right angle. That's why I lay the, right on this paper. And then once you've stitched it on one side and then go to the next side, as when I get started with the second side, I'll lay it out again to make sure it's still good. Keep in mind that because this is pieced, you're going to have growth here. So it's going to be a little bigger, but as long as it's the right angle, you'll be fine in the long run. But just be careful that you don't end up with this tipping tower because I did this on the top row. I think it's the second or third one and it's pretty bad. So I'm going to eventually go back and maybe fix it. But if I can't work it in. So on to the basting, which is over here. Basting on this, I'm going to put these first to the tabs so that the tabs are down on each one of these. These, I'm going to base this first so the tabs go out away from my center. And the same thing with these. I'm going to base these outside edges first because that's where the tags end up being is on the is pointing towards the first side you based. I've got my bottom section started. I got these two pieces put together and these two are taped to the big number 19 triangle. And I'm going to start at one end and then stop about here and tie off and then start at the other end and connect these and do the same with this. So I got the whole base of the triangle attached and I'm going to then go to this next section which is 14, 15, 16 and assemble that before I then attach those two pieces. I'm going to place this on my thing and make sure that it gets aligned properly between the lines based on this one too. So I have my second unit ready to go and attach to my main unit and I'm going to put this on here. Once I attach this to my other unit, I'm going to put it back on my diagram and make sure that my angles are correct. So I've taped my two pieces together and I'm going to put it on here. Now it's a little bigger than the, than the lines, so I do have to scoot them to see. And so I've got this one I've got lined up and then I'm just going to make sure that I move it along that line to see that the line on the right emerges at the same time. So that's lined up and then if I scoot it the same way again, I can see that this is lined up too. So I'm good to go on that and I'm going to now stitch it together. So I've got my pieces put together and I'm just going to check my angles. I've taken my thing out of the bag. I was having problems with it in the bag because there's still pieces in a bag in there. So you can see the line a little bit. If I slide it this way, I see the black line. If I slide it back this way, I see the black line. I just got to keep, you know. So I'm happy with that for now. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on, put together my 11, 12, and 13 pieces. So 
So I've got the 11, 12, 13 section on. I've got it taped on. And I'm just going to verify that I've placed it correctly. And so I'll line this up with and see where the rest of this falls. So, the, so far that looks good. And I will sew this on and re-verify it and then move on to my next section. So I've attached my 11, 12, 13 unit and I have my 8, 9, and 10 unit assembled, ready to tape onto my main block, triangle, whatever you want to call it. And I will position this and tape it and then stitch it and move on to my next section. So I've got the 8, 9, and 10 piece attached to my main triangle. And this is where you'd start to see a problem if you have a problem with your angle on the side. So it is kind of getting wrinkly here because of the spacing I had between these triangles at my point. So I did my X stitch to pull that in as much as possible. So I am having some dimensional issues, but the angle seems to be correct. So I will move on to my five, six, seven block pieces. So I've got the next section done, the five, six, and seven section. I will place it and I will tape it and then I will stitch it down and make sure that the angle is still correct. So I got my five, six, and seven pieces attached and I'm just checking my angle and it looks good. I put it next to the line so I could see it better. And I'm going to do my two, three, and four. Okay, so here's where the problem comes in a lot of the time. I have attached my two, three, and four and my tip. And what has happened is it has veered off course, so to speak. But because it's just right here, these pieces are real pliable and they can be moved. I mean, it really moves. So I know that it was right here that this happened and it was because of how it was sewn together or something. At one point, I thought that I had one of these two background pieces in the wrong orientation, but I checked the angles and they're the same. So, yeah. So in this case, I've done everything I could and it still came out a bit off, but I will be able to finagle it and it will go in to its spot, knock on wood. And if not, then I can mess with it. But it, they grow with, with each seam, and they move with each seam. So we're going to see what happens on assembly, but I'm going to call this bottom border triangle number four complete.